Hey y'all, welcome back to Glow and Naturally. My name is Cecily. You could call me Cess. If you are new here, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. Thank you so much for deciding to journey with me in yet another video. If you have not done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and please be sure to turn on that bell notification so you are notified when I do post another video. Child, that is so long. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, hey y'all. How y'all doing? I know it's been a while six months <laughs> I have been out of grad I've been out of grad school since May so for six months I've been out of there and I really am going to say I've been gone off of social media well not social media but YouTube for about six months I feel like that's been the case um and I just kind of want to give you guys an update and happy Vlogmas because this is going to be the first day of Vlogmas. Today is day one. Um, I probably will not be counting down each video because of the way that I edited the videos and how I am putting the videos out there. I will not be doing a traditional side note. I will not be doing a traditional Vlogmas. I'm going to be giving you guys content of my life in the last six months. So, yeah, it's not going to be, you're not going to see a lot of Christmas stuff. It's just going to be what's been really going on in my life for the last six months. There will be Christmas shopping here and there. Um, but it's really going to be very untraditional. I, it's not going to be a whole bunch of Christmas stuff in it. Um, but I will be celebrating. I will be with family a lot in the vlogs and whatnot. So, yeah. Um... I just want to start by saying it has been a lot going on these last few months. Um, let's talk about, one, me graduating. Because I didn't even come back and talk about that for real. I just posted another travel video. And I really ducked off, okay? So I graduated May 2021 with my master's in social work, if you are unaware. Um, and that was that was a very long rough hard journey i have a youtube playlist of all my social work videos if you want to go look at that but um that journey was hard it was rough it was tough so i just i really needed to take some time out for me like cecily and really figure out what it is that i want out of life in the upcoming months because Y'all, I have been in school all of my life. Like dramatically, let's be if I'm being if I'm speaking in dramatic tense, I have been in school since I was four. Right? <laughs> if I'm being real, I graduated college, I mean high school 2012. So I've just been in school since. And your girl has just been over it. Like I'm just I just wanted to live my life. Once I graduated, I said, God, I just want to travel a couple places. I want to be able to just enjoy my time, wake up when I want to, and I have to worry about an income or working right as soon as I get out of school. And he literally, God was like, heard you. Because I literally traveled. I posted both of my travel vlogs on here. Um, and I started therapy, y'all. I really started in July. I'll probably insert a clip. But I started in July. And... That was probably one of the most transformative therapy. Well, therapy has very has been very transformative for me. Um, I've had therapists at different stages of my life. Well, stages of my college career, I guess. Um, I had one undergrad. I had one during grad school. And now I have one post-grad. And all taught me amazing things. But this one, she, she's really getting in and deep okay she's um making me kind of really get in touch with my inner child if you guys hear cars i'm sorry my i'm literally right next to the street like one of the main streets here but um she really had me get in touch with my inner child and that is a rough tough hard strenuous mentally challenging um journeys I've ever experienced when it came to therapy. I really just don't understand how therapy... Okay, let me not even get there. 
So my therapist, like she really had me get in touch and really self-reflect a lot. I went to therapy. I, I still go every Tuesday. I'll go. I've gone every week since July. I have been in therapy every week since July. Um, and I needed it. And it was really for maintenance now at this point in my life. I feel like, yes, I have the tools. Yes, I... Um, I understand therapy, but like I need someone I can call on and talk to about what's been going on in my week, especially um, because I've been wanting this. I had wanted to start a new job and I didn't know what I wanted to do over the summer. I'm like, okay, I'm on unemployment because yes, I was being supported by the government. This was the first time I ever did that and I pay taxes. So you know, I've paid taxes for every job that I've worked at since I was 17. So <laughs> I feel like, you know, I awarded myself and got right on that motherfucking government. I got on government assistance and I got help from the government and I don't want anybody. I hope no, I used to really feel bad about being like someday needing support from the government, but I mean, that's what they're, that's what they're there for. Right. So anyway, um, Fast forward, <laughs> I decided, like, she really helped me navigate dating. She helped me navigate, like, my relationships within my family, my friends, and, um, like, even if I was dating, I think I said that, dating. Yeah, like, romantic relationships. I have been able to see it in a new perspective. I've been able to see life in a new perspective, and I really needed her. I have needed her. I'm so happy I met my therapist, right? So, um, therapy alone, it just makes you get in your head a lot because you have to think about what it is that you want, what it is that, why you are the way you are and really come to face with that person in the mirror and really stand and really understand, understand who you are and, um, what it is that you're going to be doing in life. I'm sorry if I'm squinting y'all, this light is so bright, but it's a little dark in here. So I had to give some type of razzle dazzle. I actually want to be comfortable. Like, I'm like, dang, can I get comfortable? Like, I'm sitting up there. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I literally, I have been really just at the point in my life over the summer. I said, I just want to live. I just want to live my life. I want to travel. I went to Mexico with my mom. Um, and my cousin, this was my first time traveling out of the country with my mom um, and my cousin. Now that I think about it, it was our first traveling trips together. And that was an experience. It was fun. Then I had went to Atlanta for the second time this year. I also traveled to Chicago. I took a video. I've made a vlog of all of those. So if y'all want to go look back at those, y'all can. Um, but yeah, I just really... I was doing that and now, not even now, but I just wanted to really take time out for myself without feeling like I owed the world anything because I was navigating something new. Post-grad depression is real. I might do a whole video, a separate video on that, but I was really like, I wasn't depressed, but I was in a it was a transformation. It was a shift because I have never not been in school or had to look forward to school in like in the summer. Like this is my first free summer of not ha to have any obligations. This was my first summer of not having to worry about going back to school in the fall. And it's like it really hits you. Like life really hits you when you're like, dang, what's next? Like what is next for real? Like <laughs> so it was just like everything was just boom 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 like i traveled i have a dog i have to take care of thank god to my mom and my friends who have been helping me take care of her when i wanted to go out of the country or wanted to go out of the state um they really supported me with my dog and my mom has been taking care of her um when i'm not able to be home because now i work so and she works from home still a little bit so i don't know i'm just really grateful for this time these last six months of really figuring out how I'm going to navigate adulthood for real I feel like this last six months have really that's it 
how to navigate adulthood. I feel like that is really what I would describe the last six months is me figuring out how to navigate adulthood and adulting. So I gave myself three months, um, which was the summertime, to just really relax. But I told myself I will have a job by August. I want to be able to have a job during the fall time because I knew my birthday was coming up. I knew that I had to celebrate things and I wanted to be outside like fall I thrive in the fall if y'all hit my you know go to my Instagram your girl been popping out like I have been popping out and I don't really be popping out for real but I thrive in the fall so um I really was just living and I got a um interview I was I was able to be a doula as well so I was able to have a doula client and it was one it was y'all it was amazing um i love being a doula i am a doula i have been a doula since 2019 but because i'm in my i was in my grad school program i really couldn't give a lot to that and that process and i just feel like god places people in your life for a reason um and i feel like he's about to do some works with my doula career and my doula life as well and now i can kind of focus on that too aside from my full-time job that i have but i just really want to pour more into what i love to do like i love being a social worker right i love i have being a social worker here but i'm also a doula i'm also an entrepreneur i mean i guess that's one of the same but I, I i have a line i have a makeup line i'm a dog mom i love creating content i just really have so many things that i enjoy doing and it's like why limit ourselves why don't like why should i have to limit myself to one thing like we're not designed to only do one thing for the rest of our lives, right? Like, I just can't fathom that I'm only going to be doing one thing for the rest of my life. That's boring. I can't do it. So I focused the last, truly the last six years, I focused on getting my degrees. I have my degrees. Now I'm doing what I want to do with those degrees. So that part is covered. But now I want to work and focus on other areas of my life. And these last six months have really... I really have been able to think like what do I want to do where do I want to be so that brings me to my job while I was being a doula I got a call I was interviewing for a job and then I got a second I got a call back while I was in the room with my client I had left out of, of course I didn't take the call inside the room but I had said hey like she wasn't in active labor at this point but I was like hey girl do you think I can take this phone call I have to call because I have a job interview or whatever she was like yeah girl no problem she wasn't in active labor she was not in active labor at this point, but um, because she was getting induced. But um, she was like, <laughs> it was so funny because I was like, um, well, yeah, girl. Like she, she was like, yeah, go ahead. So I called. She was like, yeah, we would love to have you for a second interview if you can come in. And I'm just like, ah, that's amazing. I'm so excited. Um, and this was an opportunity to become a youth crisis counselor. And when I was interviewing, it was like, you know, you'll be like the lead youth crisis counselor. You'll be able to help youth who are in a crisis. They wanting to like, you know, kill themselves or wanting to harm themselves or someone else. Like, um, I would dispatch out to them. But yes, that was my role. And I'm just like, dang, like it's full circle. Like if you, I haven't told the, I haven't hundred percent told the story about my brother. So I don't think I told that story on here. I feel like I probably have. But um, my brother committed suicide when I was 13 years old and I found him. So it was like full circle moment for me because I'm helping other kids um, and youth like kind of not do that, you know, not do that, but like not want to harm themselves. I'm coming to them when they're in a crisis and talking them down. And I just felt like that was a full circle moment for me. And I was just so blessed to be in this position and have this job and the schedule it was working with. It works with my life. Like ultimately it's a nine to five, but I, one week on, I work nine to five the next week I work one to nine and it shifts. And I love that for me because sometimes I don't want to get up early. Um, I Sometimes I want to be able to sleep in a little bit and then go about my morning and then go to work. Like, I do like my shift. I do like my schedule right now. I'm about to hit my 90 days next week. By the time you guys see this, I'll have been there for 90 days, three months. And, um, yeah, like, that job has really, I will say, opened doors. It's allowed me to meet new people um, who I actually celebrated my birthday last year, I mean, last week with. Um, 
and they're amazing like my co-workers they have been amazing they've been so supportive and just really trying to get through this new position because it's the first time it's happened in the country so it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of changes but I will say we're working with it okay we're doing what we can with what we got and um I feel like this season is a test. I feel like I'm being tested right now at my job and just in my life in general. And it's not a bad test, though. It's like a test that's, and God is just like, you know how to pass it. So pass it. Like, just get through this. You've gotten through so much more. You are where you have been praying to be. Like, I am living in the moment that I prayed to be in, y'all. And I feel like that right there in itself is it just feels good it feels good to feel it feels good to say like i'm literally living in the moments that i have prayed for and i have manifested and i have really worked really hard to be here um i have wrote this thing earlier today y'all and i kind of want to like i kind of want to like read it so I have said, I genuinely love the fact that I can do what I love and choose my schedule. Because at the end of the day, me working at 9 to 5 is me doing what I love. I worked hard to be here. I graduated high school in 2012 and 2022 is next year. Like, damn, I came a long way in 10 years. Please do not let anyone make you feel like a four-year plan is... Um, is what you need to get to where you want to be. I do not care how long it'll take you, just get there. Because when you get there, you'll understand why you did everything to get to where you want it to be. If you don't know your why, take some time to reflect and genuinely understand why you're going through what you're going through in this season. It's all for a reason. It's the reason you realize that you had made you had to make a difference. Change is hard. People don't like it, and that's just a fact. So instead of trying to change them, give them an opportunity to see different. Some things people aren't used to. Some things people just aren't used to, and people have just not seen. We are not the same. So stop trying to fit in a box and figure out how you can get to where you want to be in a different way and in a way that works for you. And when I had wrote this, I really was crying, y'all, because I was really speaking to myself. Like, I wanted to give up so much. Like, if you guys have watched my videos, if y'all been rocking with me on this journey, it has taken a lot <laughs> of crying, heartache, disappointment, let down to get to where I am in 2021. It's about to be 2022. I'm 27. I graduated high school at 17. I graduated high school at 17. 10 years ago, I was in a different place than I am now. 10, 10 years later, I'm living, I'm two degrees and I'm, I don't care. I'm going to be happy and proud of my two degrees because of what I want to do with my degrees and how hard I work to get here. And I just feel like we got to stop putting people down for one a degree or two or three because that's my purpose and I've walked in God's purpose for me. I have walked in the process the I have walked in the um I'm walking in the prayers that I prayed. Like I'm walking in it. I'm living in it. I'm standing in it. Like nobody can sit here and tell me I didn't work hard for what I have. So anyway, I feel like I just went on a tangent. But I just feel like Whatever it is that y'all want to do, please continue to do it and put your mind to it. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Um, these last six months, they have been really trying. They have been really hard. <laughs> um, but I've been really happy, you know? And it's just so weird to say, like, damn, I'm happy. Like, I'm not, I have not had a depressive episode yet, and it's November 20 second i have never felt this way and if i could help anybody else feel this feeling that i'm having now by not giving up on myself and applying the pressure that i needed to to get here i will do it if i have to tell my story to help somebody else i will do it and i will continue to do it if i have to sit here and open up and be vulnerable to people on the internet I will do it. If I can impact one life at a time, 
I will do it. I love that slogan too. I mean, I've always been saying it, but my church kind of just aligns with that. But if I can genuinely sit here and just help y'all get to like the next step or just feel good in general, like I will do it. It's just, I love helping people. I love being here for people. I love speaking my truth and standing in my truth because nobody can take it away from me. Nobody can ever minimize what I've gone through. Like, there's things that I've gone through that other people are like, I could never. And there's other things that other people have gone through that I would be like, I could never. How do you, how are you still standing? So whatever it is, I know this kind of just went off topic, but y'all know I always got to go on a little tangent. But whatever you are doing in this season, be intentional and just remember your why. Remember your why. Remember why you are grinding so hard because everything that you're going through is going to be worth it. I feel like this is the other side. This is the other side, y'all. And I really want y'all to take this next step onto my 30s. Like, your girl is about to be... I'm coming different, okay? I'm coming different. And this I don't even feel like I'm the same person when I was, when I started this channel. I was, I haven't, I'm not. I'm just not the same person I was three years ago. I'm not. I'm a brand new person, okay? Um, so I've really been working on my mental this last six months. I have been working on just really figuring out what I want um, in this next season. And this next season could be a year. This next season could be three. Who knows? I mean, I turned 30 in three years now. So, but um, yeah, like, I just feel very like content, not content, but I feel very happy. I was really chilling, y'all. I was really chilling. Did y'all even see me back here? But I just, I just been, I've been feeling good these last six months and I really just appreciate y'all for still being here um, and riding with me. I appreciate, I think I'm almost at 1,100 subscribers. I don't know, but I have really felt discouraged at some point when it came to my numbers on here and I said I I can't keep focusing on and not wanting to put out content because of numbers the amount of people who tell me I have helped them in some kind of way that is enough for me because that was the purpose and we get off course sometimes how I'm doing with this conversation but I feel like I want to just chat like it's been a minute y'all but um I feel like we get off course sometimes of our purpose because of distractions and that's a distraction numbers are a distraction from the purpose stop worrying about the numbers just do it that stuff is going to come and I that's a word for myself like don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about any of that. Just do what you need to do. Everything else will come. The money will come. The man or woman will come. The, the, the house will come. The car will come. The children will come. Whatever it is that you need, the job will come. Like it will come. Just do keep doing what you have to do. Keep, keep working, keep grinding, keep just applying the pressure that you need to do so you can get to where you need to be because when you get there the joy the joy that's on the other side listen the joy that's on the other side of grinding hard and working hard is unmatched and this feeling i want everybody to have I want everybody to have. And I sh I shared me crying. I shared my heartbreak. I've shared the hurt. I've shared the trauma. I'm going to continue to share my journey, though. I'm about to show y'all this post-grad life. It hasn't been sunshine and rainbows. I was depressed over the summer. I was hurting a little bit. I'm just like, dang, it got lonely. And it's about to be lonely. It's, it's still going to be lonely. I'm not. Go it's not going to be lonely. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I feel alone because I know I have people in my corner. I know I have a tribe, but I'm losing people. I'm drifting away from people. And I had to prepare myself for this. Like God had to prepare me for this that I'm about to walk into because it's about to be nothing but abundance and overflow for me. And I'm speaking that into my life and I'm speaking that into your life. Like this next season is 
overflow it is abundance you just got to keep walking in your purpose and the purpose that god has for your life the purpose that was given to you this is your birthright being where you are now is your birthright being happy is your birthright being successful is your birthright especially if you are a melanated king or queen it is your birthright so walk in your power stand in your power and continue to move with grace move with elegance move with what you know you are move as if you already have what it is that you want you get what I'm saying? You catch what I'm putting out there, y'all? I don't know. I feel like I needed to say what I just said. I feel like it went off. But y'all know me. If y'all been here, if y'all been around for a little bit, y'all know me. Y'all know I don't really stay on topic for too long. But um, I think, I don't know. I think my the numbers are, um, my memory is about to go out because yeah i'm about to go eat and then i'm gonna probably go to the gym no i am gonna go to the gym yeah it's only four o'clock i'm gonna go to the gym do 45 minute cardio um but yes y'all these next um few videos is just gonna be they're gonna be different they're gonna be um me testing the waters like vlogmas is gonna be a little different this year it's just really gonna be what i want my channel to be about it's just me Okay, I don't care. I don't I don't know what I'm going to post. I don't know what I'm going to post next. I'm going to stop giving y'all empty promises because I don't know what I'm going to post next. But just know a post is coming, okay? Just know a video is coming. Content is coming. And I hope that you guys just continue to rock with me and continue to stick out with me and forgive me for being gone for six months. But life is about to move differently your girl is about to be buy a house your girl is about to buy a car i don't know when but it's coming a, your girl is about to be in a in a relationship and married okay i might even just who knows might have a pop up with a kid i'm speaking life into my life okay I'm so, i gotta speak life <laughs> into these situations okay it's gonna happen I'm going to get the husband. I'm going to have the babies. I'm going to have the car. I'm going to have the house. Like, I'm going to be doing what I love. Period. And so will you. You got to speak it into existence. Because everything, everything that I am doing now, my vision board is actually in there. But everything I'm doing now, it was on my vision board the last two years. I said, nope, graduate. Lose the weight. The weight? is a work in progress that's gonna be my focus for 2022 period 27 I'm working on my body I had to work on my mental first you can't it's really hard to work on your body and be consistent with your body when you aren't even consistent to your mind you got to be consistent with your mind first you got to be in a place where you are mentally stable before you can even do anything physically but then when you start doing fit stuff physically like when you start working out it's just gonna naturally coincide together it's going to be able to work out but um yeah so we'll see it's a journey you never know where it's going to take us we never know where it's going to take us um but it's always about the journey it's never about the destination but i promise you the other side of all this hard work and all this grinding and all this crying that you're doing it ain't gonna be for nothing it's not gonna be for nothing if you give up it'll be for nothing but if you keep grinding it's going to be for something. You're going to see. And when you get over there to that other side, child, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel so good. And I hope and I can't. I, I, I wish that for you. Whoever is watching this, I wish that for you. I pray nothing but abundance, overflow, and just good, 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 good energy, good vibes, blessings pouring. Listen, it's happening. Um, but I'm really happy that I'm putting out videos again for Vlogmas. Just know it might not be a lot of Christmas stuff, but I already said that. Um, these last six months have been a lot, but I'm excited to kind of just, I didn't want to put too much of what I'm about to do. I just want to put it out there. You know, I'm not about to say, this is what I'm going to post. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it. Okay. I can't keep saying i'm gonna just do this boom 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 this is what y'all gonna get but just know everything in this next chapter i'm sharing 
everything post grad I'm sharing. I'm sharing my post grad life um, because I love it here. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I love it here, y'all. This is <laughs> this is crazy. It's happening. This video is happening. This these videos. Okay, yeah, it kind of went out. But yes, y'all, it's happening. So stay tuned for the videos, the vlogs that are coming out. I can't wait to just give y'all the tea. This is honestly, I've been dating. I've been um, going through it. I've been, yeah, I've been living life. <laughs> I've been living life. I've been traveling. And I've just been doing everything I just wanted to do. And now I'm in my career. Now I'm living. Like, I'm living. I'm living, okay? I'm living. And I just can't wait to um, keep posting and keep sharing and keep inspiring and keep motivating. Um, Y'all got this. I don't know if you're in grad school. I don't know if you're an undergrad. I don't know if you're a social work major. I don't know what you're doing in life. But wherever you are in this present moment, I just want you to take a second and just say thank you God thank you God for where I am today and thank you for where I have been but most definitely thank you most importantly thank you for where I'm about to go okay um thank you so much y'all for getting to this point of the video if you have not done so yet please subscribe turn on that bell notification and I will see y'all in my next one y'all in my next one, I see you. In my next one, I'll see you.